वेलकम ऑनलाइन डेटा कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द मेन फंक्शंस और द डिजाइन इश्यूज ऑफ दिस लेयर्स दे आर द मेनी डिजाइन इश्यूज लाइक वाइज अगर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द द फ्रेम सिंक्रोनाइजेशन फ्लो कंट्रोल error control addressing control and data on same link and link management so uh, we already know this is the uh, layer of open system interconnection model uh, which is the in between the physical and the network layer this layer convert the raw transmission facility provided by the physical layer to a reliable and the error free link so uh, as concerned uh, it uh, uh, there are the uh, we have talked the uh, design issues or we see these issues so uh, the Uh, services which we are talk about the providing services to the network layer now see how uh, uh, assume that there are the two host one is host 1 and another is the host 2 these are the communicating devices in either laptop desktop or your communicating uh, mobiles so one is the who can send the data or other is who can receive the data vice versa they are doing so they are actually exchanging the data to each other so uh, whatever the services we need we have first draw like this way aise kicho aur fir aise kicho fir aise kicho aur ek aise aap bana lijiye block एक ब्लॉक होस्ट के लिए आप ऐसे बनाइए और इस ब्लॉक्स में जो लेयर्स हैं उनके लिए आप ये लेयर वन लेयर टू लेयर थ्री लेयर फोर लेयर फाइव लेयर सिक्स एंड लेयर नंबर सेवन और हम बात कर रहे हैं इस लेयर नंबर टू की ऐसे ही यहां पे दिस इज लेयर सेवन दिस इज लेयर सिक्स दिस इज लेयर फाइव दिस इज लेयर फोर दिस इज लेयर नंबर थ्री दिस इज लेयर नंबर टू एंड लास्ट वन इज दी वन so the function of this uh, uh, data link layer is to provide services to the network layer and the principal services is transferring data from network layer on the source machine to the network layer on the destination machine on the source machine is an entity call it a process in the network layer that handle the some bits to the data link layer for the transmission to the destination the job of the data link layer is to transmit the bit to the destination machine so that they can handle over the network layer which is shown in this figure you can say this is figure number 1 and the actual transmission followed by the uh, path of the uh, this uh, uh, system is uh, now shown by we can draw the again figure number 2 jisko ki aap samajh sake
ये होस टू दिस होस्ट वन और ये आपका होस्ट टू और इसका हम डिवीजन कर लें वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ये लेयर सेवन ऐसे ही ये लेयर वन लेयर टू दिस इज लेयर नंबर थ्री दिस वन इज लेयर नंबर फोर दिस वन लेयर नंबर फाइव एंड दिस इज सिक्स एंड दिस इज सेवन सो इट इज द फिगर नंबर टू now look at this figure this is the layer data link layer so the communication of the layer is like this way it is started from network layer to the data link layer and yahan pe hum dashes line dikha rahe hain communication ka path and it goes to the network layer jo services network layer डेटा लिंक लेयर को दे रहा है और ये जो पोर्शन है ये पोर्शन डैश हेच फॉर्म में है ये कहलाता है वर्चुअल कनेक्टिविटी यानी कि इसको हम कहेंगे वर्चुअल पाथ तो डेटा इज कनेक्टेड पॉइंट टू पॉइंट बाय द मींस ऑफ वर्चुअल डेटा पाथ वर्चुअल data path so the jo services hai jo pehla figure hai ye services kya kehlayegi it is the provided by the network layer but here it is the virtual communication the communication is taking between the host one to the host two by the means of virtual communication virtual communication or this figure is the first of network layer provide the service to the data link layer then it provide the service to the below the layer that is the physical layer and then by transmission line it goes to the other host connected to the physical layer then it goes to data link layer and then after it reaches the network layer this connection is the actual it is the physical connection so it is the actual actual network 
data path. And this is figure is this figure two is the actual communication. So, uh, if you uh, see these services in the form of virtual communication and the services in the form of actual com communication, by the behalf of this, this services is divided into the three categories. Types of types of services it is three types one type is the unacknowledgement connection less service one is unacknowledgement Acknowledgement Acknowledgement Connection Less Connection less. This is the first type of service. Second type of service is acknowledgement connectionless service. Knowledge Connection less service
now third one is acknowledgement connection oriented service acknowledge connection connection oriented oriented service okay three types of services one is acknowledgement connection less service दूसरा चीज दूसरा है फर्स्ट है अन एक्नोलेजमेंट कनेक्शन लेस सर्विस दूसरा है एक्नोलेजमेंट कनेक्शन लेस सर्विस और तीसरा है एक्नोलेज कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड सर्विस अन एक्नोलेजमेंट कनेक्शन लेस सर्विस मीन्स इन दिस टाइप ऑफ सर्विस द सोर्स मशीन सेंड इंडिपेंडेंट frames to the destination and machine without having any acknowledgement from the destination machine no logical connection is established uh, before transmission or release afterward if a transmission is lost due to noise on the line no attempt is made to deduct the loss or recover from it in the data link layer this class of services is appropriate when the error rate is very low so it is the requirement to you recover is left to the higher layers so because of the noise uh, there is a real time traffic on the communication path machines which are not physically connected to each other without any direct connections they can directly send the data that type of services is unacknowledged connection less service or acknowledged connection less service means the it is the uh, type of service which is uh, improve this reliability because uh, you cannot detect your uh, data uh, because uh, the transmission are not established and the confirmation is not given by the receiver end so reliability is the main concern <clears throat> because any failure is taken place you should be recover from the failure to the first running point so when this services is offered uh there is no logical connection is used 
but the each frame is transmitted individually acknowledged in this way sender know whether the frame has been uh, reach at your destination and it is correctly received by you the receiver side or uh, destination side if it has uh, not uh, arrived at the destination end points and system then within a specified the time arrival so it can be retransmitted again इसमें क्या होता है कि इट इज द सेंडर लाइन और दिस इज द डेस्टिनेशन लाइन इफ ही सेंड द डेटा सपोज दिस इज द जीरो डेटा एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम इट गेट द एक्नोलेजमेंट right and this this is the actual figure there is the no physical connection in the virtual connection these two is happened these two services so it send the data from sender and it comes to the destination point and within the time it send the acknowledgement i will receive your frame so it is the received by the sender that time he knows yes my frame is uh, get by the destination uh, point if he not get this acknowledgement then what happened suppose like this way again transmitter and there is a receiver or this is your data zero it sent by the transmitter and your acknowledgement is not reaching at your sender side so it is the time where it should be reached after this time interval he again what he do now he again retransmit the frame same frame from the sender end and then he got the acknowledgement of data g now what happen in the acknowledge connections oriented service means this figure where the actual communication is taking place it is the most uh, you can say uh, so uh, Uh, responsibility of this data link layer can provide the network layer connection oriented service in this service the source and destination machine established the connection before any data is transmit or any frame is transmit uh, uh, by the, uh, by the one end to the another end so before any data is transferred so each frame set over the connection and it's numbered it given by the number and the data link layer guarantees that the each frames which is sent by the sender it definitely or correctly received by the destination so it is the uh, insurety that all the frames are arrived and received in the right manner in right order in right sequence so when the correction oriented service services is used what do we do now first of all we transfer to go the three phases first phase is 
you established the connection what is the first point is in this uh, actual communication and the service of this acknowledge connection oriented service the first uh, task is connection establishment connection 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 <coughs> establishment Establishment. This is the first phase. The second phase is transmission of the frame. transmission of data in the form of frames and third one is termination of your connection to indicate that your connection is broken by the both the ends that is called connection released connection 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 released
connection Now, move the important point. Suppose there is a two network like this way and like this way. Okay, we made a very simple network so you can easily. एक ये है एक ये है और एक यहाँ पे ये है एक यहाँ पे ये है और ये कनेक्ट है एक राउटर और ये स्विच पैकेट स्विच राउटर है नेटवर्क है और ये इधर गया है इधर कनेक्शन बस टोपोलॉजी और ओरिएंटेड है
और ये दूसरा नेटवर्क वी वर्ल्ड यहाँ पे एंड सिस्टम है वी टू सो दिस इज दी ऑन नेटवर्क कॉल इट ए इट इज द ग्रुप ऑफ द कम्युनिकेटिंग डिवाइसेस मोर देन टू और डिवाइसेस आर इंटरकनेक्ट दे फॉर्मिंग द नेटवर्क सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट नो no. ये क्वेश्चन जो इसमें नॉर्मली पूछा जाता है कि एक नेटवर्क से जब दूसरे नेटवर्क में डेटा लिंक लेयर होप टू होप डिलीवरी करती है नोट टू नोट डिलीवरी करती है तो डेटा लिंक लेयर इज नॉर्मली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर I hope to hope delivery. So it is the responsibility of so here responsibility data link layer is o to the o okay so one network is 
actually sending the data to the other network any one of the device from one network a is want to send the data network of b to the another device so you can say this is device 2 this is 2 so a wants send the data to the b hota kya hai ki within this this single network the same mac address is sufficient for hope to hope delivery because of the lane when mac physical or link address ya access address which is coming from the nic card imprinted plus your network address this is the logical address it is the sufficient to move your data inside this single network it will be work because of the data link layer is work on a same mac address is machine ka jo address hai a4 ka wo mac address physically hai identify aram se ho jayega isi within among machines mein lekin jab dusra network aata hai to ye mac address is wale machine ke mac address pe work nahi karta kyunki yahan pe jo lan और ये लेन का जो एड्रेस है और जो मैक और ये आईपी एड्रेस है ये दूसरे नेटवर्क में जाने पर फ्रॉम वन नेटवर्क टू द अनदर नेटवर्क ऑफ बी एट मशीन बी वन दैट इज नॉट सफिशिएंट सो इट शुड बी रिलायबल विद इन द सेम नेटवर्क सो द सोर्स मैसेज from a4 can send data if if only if only if the routers which are this is the router r1 this router r2 so how the flow is taking place from one network to two first of all machine a send data at router r1 r1 received and check source and destination mac address and ip address and the source and destination address and then it pass to the next router so it store and forward to the next router switch switching network router at second after router it's also check okay this mac address and ip address and source address and destination address source address and destination address are not our network on network a it is delivered to first of all router switch r1 then r1 gives to the r2 and it's check our oh, source a4 ip want to send a data destination address v1 so routers to coming in this network b 
this R2 and R1 router take the permission and it delivered your data from hope to hope. So R2 is take the permission, it grants the permission by the network B that is called gateway. By the gateway, it takes the permission and it is delivered your frame or data to the correct destination machine at B1. So, this network layer ensure your delivery of A4 to the B1. Ensure your delivery of D1. But data link layer is only responsible for to go. It goes to this LAN, it goes pass by this check. No, it is not our destination store and forward. And it pass again here. Then it coming here, router one, then is check. Okay, in this network, this is not a destination, so it pass the next uh, network router R2 and then it gives the permission it entered and it delivered at here. So this is only by the because of the your uh, messages because of the router if it is full of frame it will be wait if it is not full then it clear your message and your message is flow so there should be if it is r1 is full then older message will be deleted so here what is here? Here is a stop and wait until the all the frames are delivered and your network is ready to flow. After that it getting the loss of frame then go back again the neighboring your neighboring uh, router switch are yeah, connecting communicating intermediate devices it delivered the send if this is permanently lost or you are not getting the acknowledgement then particular frame which is lost which is not received by the B1 then only the selective repeat is is used to maintain this you have to need this should be controlled that means you should be see whether the your this track is cleared or not there is no collision between the frames then your you can use this route so there need a flow control how much 
data is consumed or absorbed by this B1. And if the any error in between is occur, if any you say error is occur, the flow is controlled by stop wait go back or selective keep repeat. But if any error is controlled, so there should be error control mechanism because you are not at this in this network you are on this network so it is good to have check the error before that uh, a4 a a4 uh, and system sent to the data b1 so b1 should be recognized your message is this message do not have any error. If error control is visible by hope to hope and done by the data link layer, so it is corrected at the data link layer itself. So there is a some error control techniques, just a CRC cyclic redundancy check. Hamming quotes. This is error control mechanism where redundant extra bits are added into your frame to detect at what position and in, in what frame your bit is having a error and it is corrected at only the data link layer that is the DL layer. Another checkpoint is to correct the error is the transport layer. Transport layer. Here we used checksum technique dhyan dijiye ga bachcho ek ye cheez bata rahe hain kahin di nahi hai checksum and parietary bits even or odd Parietary bits. So, all this is done, there should be some access control. The access control is used only within the own network. If access control is the network is not going to be access control, it is not going to be able to do लेकिन डेटा लिंक लेयर का काम क्या है कि नेटवर्क लेयर ए के अंदर एक्सेस कंट्रोल करना विद इन द सिंगल लिंक व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड एट अ डिफरेंट यूजर एंड एक्सेस द नेटवर्क एट द सेम फ्रेम देन इट्स कोलाइड टू ईच अदर क्योंकि अगर सेम आसपास गाड़ियां होंगी गाड़ियां अगर चल रही हैं तो वो ही कोलाइड कर सकती है उसी को आप एक्सेस उसी को आप देख के सही कर सकते हो तो देयर शुड बी सम एक्सेस कंट्रोल मैकेनिज्म तो देयर इज अ एक्सेस कंट्रोल एंड एक्सेस कंट्रोल ये इंपॉर्टेंट है एक्सेस कंट्रोल कैसे हो सकता है मल्टीपल एक्सेस टेक्निक को यूज करते हुए सीएसएमए 
अब्लिक कोलाइड डिडक्शन कैरियर सेंस मल्टीपल एक्सेस टेक्निक के से कर सकते हैं यू कैन गो थ्रू दी प्योर एलोहा जिसके जरिए आप एक्सेस कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं प्योर एलोहा से भी आप एक्सेस कंट्रोल किया जा सकता है आप स्लॉटेड एलोहा से जो आजकल नेटवर्क में यूज किया जाता है स्लॉटेड एलोहा से भी आप एक्सेस को कंट्रोल कर सकते हो विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्लॉटेड एलोहा देर इज टोकन रिंग टोकन रिंग भी आप यूज कर सकते हैं दिस आर यूज टू इन ए एक्सेस कंट्रोल और जो कैरियर सेंस मल्टीपल एक्सेस कुलिजन डिडक्शन है ये इथरनेट में इथरनेट में भी आप इसको आ, देख सकते हैं कि ये वहां पे यूटिलाइज होता है व्हेन वन इज स्टार्ट टू गेट द एक्सेस अदर वन ओनली रिसीव एंड इट ओनली रिसीव नॉट सेंड द डेटा देन यू कैन एक्सेस द कंट्रोल दी एक्सेस और देर इज ए फिजिकल एड्रेसिंग विच इज ऑलरेडी यू हैव सीन इन दीवियस लेक्चर इट इज दी एन आई सी कार्ड नेटवर्क इंटरफेस कार्ड इट्स हैविंग द एट बाइट यानी कि फोर्टी एट बिट्स एक बाइट में आठ बिट्स होती हैं तो फोर्टी एट बिट्स का इम्प्रिंटेड आठ बिट्स का छह बाइट का यानी कि ये एक कोड होता है जो आ, सिंगल नेटवर्क के लिए ही परमिशबल है कम्युनिकेशन करने के लिए यूज हो सकता है ये मैक लेयर और ये फिक्स है ये चेंज नहीं होता सिर्फ सिंगल लेकिन मैक लेयर कैन नॉट हैविंग द टू डिवाइस दो डिवाइस के एक जैसे मैक लेयर नहीं एड्रेस हो सकते हैं दो डिवाइस कैन नॉट होल्ड दी सेम मैक लेयर अब यहां पे जो क्वेश्चंस जो उठ रहे हैं वो भी कि इस वाले नेटवर्क की ये मशीन इट कैन नॉट लुक दिस बी वन दूसरे नेटवर्क में है लेकिन ये इसको देख नहीं सकती तो इस समय क्वेश्चन उठता है कि सी डी एम ए एंड सी एस एम ए जो आ, है ये किस तरीके से इसको हेल्प कर सकती है ये हेल्प करती है कि इस नेटवर्क को विजुलाइज करने के लिए इस नेटवर्क को देखने के लिए कि क्योंकि ये हिडन टर्मिनल हो गया फॉर टर्मिनल भी है इट शुड बी हिडन टर्मिनल हिडन डिवाइस हो गई तो यू एक्सेस जो आइडेंटिफाइड दैट तो यू शुड बी यूज द एक्सेस कंट्रोल टू आइडेंटिफाई योर वेयर इज योर बी वन इट इज दी इन दी नेटवर्क बी सो यू रिक्वायर टू एक्सेस कंट्रोल आफ्टर द एक्सेस कंट्रोल यू नीड टू टेक ए परमिशन बाय द गेट वे आफ्टर दैट यू कैन इंटर इन दिस नेटवर्क सो दिस इज a very uh, uh, interesting point where you can see uh, we will be continue in next uh, lecture and where we can see the uh, how we doing the framing frame Thank you.